only bring to the surface what you will when you decide in which form of responsibility you will allow this to like re-blossom or re-bloom. He says, this is very specific. It's not that what's happened in your life is not relevant, but he says the past is not there. So the only reason you will bring anything forward is within the boundaries of love and joy, he says, the parameters of shame and guilt. He goes, now you will never be excused from your responsibility in how anything surfaces, he says, because now you know, and you are forever responsible because the knowledge is there. He's like, it's not that I want you to swallow a big pill. And he goes, I will not apologize. He's like, but it's time to rise up and you will. And he believes you will. Okay. He can, he can go on and on. because I, I, know. Just, <laughs> I mean, it, but it's, but it's, but he's willing to sit here in any, any frame of mind yeah. that you deliver the fears or the excuses, which the excuses only surface from insecurity. He is very aware of that. He says, I have changed my response and answer not. For it is the same in which you are to go forward in your life's purpose in order to find and serve the true joy and the true meaning. And he says, you will reach the masses. And he says, there is no need to thank me for my time. My time here with you today was nothing but a connection to serve the greater laws of not only the universe, but what God but what God would have us do. So he says the time here with you today is not that it's time. It's that it's the connection that you needed. And he said he was willing to sit here on the teeter totter with you for however long you needed in order to completely surrender. And he says, now you have. And he says, it's all from love. And that's what's overwhelming you right now is the love. It's not within 60 minutes or 120 minutes or within a certain amount of money or time frame, but he says the connection was the most relevant thing today. And it was not within a time restraint or, re or anything. So he goes, my love endures for you. It will never be measured. He says in a, in a, in a cup of time like a, like a measuring cup. It can never be measured. And he says that you possess this. You do, you possess this. And that's why kind of, we're going to have some strong boundaries surrounded around the love of your apartment and your freedom and your space. He goes, then you will find the peace and then you will be able to give more than you ever have without sacrificing. Yeah. Okay. So he says, this is the difference. And you're afraid to be vulnerable because you feel like you're sacrificing your day, your time, your schedule, your dreams, your goals, your soul's path to serve that person who needed a couch, literally. And he goes, yeah. that's no more. Yeah. He goes, I will help you because he says, now, you know the difference between guilt and shame and the parameters in which you have boxed yourself in because of lack of production, but more your approach was to serve as it is your duty. He says, but you have been mistaken and how he says you have been mistaken and how like you present this modality. He says modality. 
he says, but going forward, don't be afraid to be vulnerable. We're going to have the parameter, I mean, the, the certain boundaries to where those will not be crossed.